Many of these are advanced workouts, and it's not meant for beginners. I have other DVDs for, for you beginner guys. You can build up to this workout. But this is a very tough workout, and it's going to really push you to the max. Now, what makes this workout a Spartacus workout any more than any other workout out there? Well, for one thing, I looked at what the actors were doing behind the scenes. Okay, it's, it's been published, it's been online, it's been in some uh, magazines. So I looked at what they were doing with the actors. But more importantly, I've gone back in history. I've gone back in time. There are historical writings from Roman historians. Galen is one great resource. He wrote an entire treatise of physical education about the way the gladiators should be trained and fed. And I've read this information. So many of these exercises, uh, even though we think of them as more modern exercises, have been around for thousands of years. The clubs will take the place of the ancient sword. They train a lot with wooden swords to toughen the wrists and the forearms, while the clubs do the same thing, same exact thing. Uh, kettlebells are fairly recent uh, uh, innovation. However, the Romans did swing weighted blocks with handles, stone blocks, and they've been around for a long time also. And of course, people have been doing pull-ups since uh, we were walking in all fours. So. Uh, the rings also are not a modern invention. They call them the Roman rings. In Roman gymnasiums, they, they had all this equipment. If you were to go in a time capsule and go back in time, you would see all of these things. There's nothing new under the sun. So we're just going to resurrect some of these things, but I'm putting a Steve Maxwell spin on it and mixing modern with the old, and we're going to have a fantastic workout.